Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Amanda. If you've been here for a while, then welcome back. So I'm excited for today's video. It is another dessert collab hosted by Clarissa at Sunny in the Suburbs and Ashley at her homemaking heart here on YouTube. So the theme for today's um, collab is fall desserts. So I have my ingredients behind me. I will have Ashley and Clarissa's channel linked in the description box below. So be sure and go check them out. I love both of their channels. And I, I just know you guys will too. And I will also have the playlist linked in the description box below as well. So be sure and go check out all the wonderful creators that are a part of this collab. So I wanted something um, easy but also kind of inexpensive. So I am making some pumpkin cake mix cookies. So all you need is the uh, spice cake mix, a can of uh, pure pumpkin, and some white chocolate chips or white bacon chips. So it's just a simple um, three ingredient dessert. I think it's going to be really good. It doesn't have eggs, so that's a plus for me. I can actually try it. Um, but you just mix the cake mix and the pumpkin together really good. When it's well mixed, then add the chips and bake it. So we're going to get those mixed up. I want to thank Ashley and Clarissa so much for hosting this collab. Each month has been so much fun, and I just really appreciate it. So guys, if you're new to my channel, one thing that I do in every video is I share a devotional. And right now I'm sharing from the devotional coloring book, Be Still and Know. And the title of today's devotion is All These Things. And the verse is from Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. And it reads, When God came to Solomon in a dream and asked him what he wanted, Solomon could have asked for riches or wealth or honor or the lives of his enemies, or long life for himself. But instead of asking for worldly things, King Solomon asked God for wisdom and knowledge to help him rule his people. Solomon's request pleased God, so the Father not only gave King Solomon what he asked for, but he gave him everything else as well. Solomon's kingdom was unrivaled in the ancient world, and Solomon himself bore the fruit of every type of excellence which is what captivated the queen of Sheba who traveled over 1,500 miles to see for herself this wise man of God she had heard so much about. There is a king greater than Solomon who was born into the world, Jesus Christ, the king of all kings, who gave his life for us to inherit eternal life. The queen of Sheba came from the uttermost parts of the earth just to hear the wisdom of an earthly king. Yet the only distance we have to travel to meet God himself is from our knees to the floor. We have access to infinite wisdom. What's more, the Bible says that if we ask for wisdom, he promised to give, promises to give it. There is nothing we need that we lack. Lord, thank you for your promise to meet my every need as I seek you. Thank you for promising to be found by those who look. I trust you for my every need. Y'all, I hope that was a blessing and an encouragement to you as it was to me.
So guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Um, thank you so much again, Ashley and Clarissa, for hosting this collab. Each one has been so much fun. Um, I did try the cookies that I made. I didn't eat a whole lot because of the cinnamon and spice in it. Um, but they were really good. So definitely give them a try. If you do, let me know what you think. Please go check out the playlist in the description box below. I know there's going to be tons of wonderful recipes from fabulous creators here on this collab. And yeah, just check out Ashley and Clarissa's channel. Thank y'all so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the video. And Lord willing, we will see y'all on the next one. Be blessed.